Goofone S9. Plus. It's crap. The end. <laughs> no, I won't do that. Okay. Mm -mm. Greetings everyone and welcome back to yet again another video. Today's one we're going to be having a look at another Goo Phone. Greetings fellow Quarantiners. Quar quarantiners. Yeah, that ISO is so bad. Like fuck. Make my day. I got balls of steel. I've got balls of steel. Alright. <clears throat> Greetings everyone, welcome to another video, my name is Shane and I'm going to be talking about another Goo Phone video. This is going to be another video, what I'm going to be... What I got to do to get it through, I'm superhuman, innovative, animated, robots, and anything, say he's Rick Shane, I'm an intergalodium, I'm going to say one day, I'm trying to give a motherfucker on it, it's been like 17, never fade, no, that hair's a very boy, for the day, because I felt so suffering, because I don't know where you're going to motivate. I can't really do it, I can't really do it at this point in time, I can't. I really need to start this video, because I don't know how fucking, I don't know how to start it. Greeting, um, Greetings everyone and welcome back to yet again another video. Today we're going to be having a look at another Goo Phone. Well, it's not a recent Goo Phone. It's still a Goo Phone, so that's all that matters. Who came up with the name Goo Phone anyways? Well, on my very limited travels, very, very limited travels, walked in, had a look at some stuff, went to the mobile phones, and I've seen our little gem we're going to be having a look at. And that little gem is this. At first glance, you're probably wondering to yourself, Fuck me. At first glance, you... What the fuck? At first glance, you're probably wondering to yourself, what type of device is this? And you've already seen the title, so I'm not going to hide it too long. This is a Goo Phone S9 Plus. While in this place, I think it was called... They had 299 on this S9 Plus... You can't even read it because it's just a tiny little sticker. They wanted $299 for this. I showed my interest in this, and I said, look, it's only worth about 100 bucks." So I showed them the DH8 listing, and the guy was like, well, we know it's fake, so we've called it aftermarket because we're hoping that someone won't really know. And I was like, yeah, great, guys, well done. With some back and forth and stuff, I ended up paying $120 Australian for this, and it was sold to me as is because there's no box, there's no nothing. It is just the device itself. So that is what we're going to be having a look at today. The box would have been nothing special anyways. It would have looked like a retail S9 Plus box, except there probably would have been a couple of spelling mistakes, etc, etc. But that's really it. The Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus was released back in February of 2018. What does the Goo Phone have? Well, according to DHgate, it's 1 gig of RAM and 8 gigs of storage. Maybe 16 gigs of storage, but we'll see. Starting at the top, we have our earpiece, front camera, Appears to be some sort of sensors in there. It looks like there's a fake iris scanner in there, but we'll have to see. At this point in time, you can barely see the bezels just there, but they are a lot bigger than the actual S9 Plus. Down the bottom, same dealio, big ass bezels, but once the phone's on, you'll see them a lot better. Going around the actual device, we have our volume keys and fingerprints. Going around our Goo Phone S9 Plus, we have our volume keys, a Working Bixby button. Some really shitty knockoffs don't have that clickable Bixby button. Some are just literally a button molded into the plastic. But this is actually something that works. At the bottom of the device, we have a headphone jack, a USB-C port, and our speaker area, which is just a hole. So I think some damage has happened there. I'm not too sure. When we tear it down, I'll probably have a better look at what's going on in there. On the other side, we have just our power button, and that is it. And fingerprints, because this is a terrible color choice. It's just a fingerprint magnet. At the top of the device, you can see the antenna bands a little more clearly. We have a secondary microphone as well as our SIM tray. Now, on the back of the device, here's where things get really interesting. We can see the nice shimmery blue. It is quite nice, to be fairly honest, but it just 
fingerprints everywhere. We have uh, information regarding the device. It is a Galaxy S9 Plus. Look at the S9 font. Just a little bit off. Just a little bit. The model number is an SMG900UD, which if you Google that model number, you'll come across reviews that are less than 10 minutes long. If you want to see a quick review, you might want to go check out those ones. Mine's going to be pretty in-depth and likely more than half an hour. You can start to see some scratches on this. This is because someone was actually using the device and they decided to sell it. Now, at this point in time, people are losing money and stuff. People are kind of desperate to get cash. This is obviously something that someone had and they needed cash they sold it and this place has bought it for who knows how much and they tried to sell it and then I walked in and here we are at the top of the device is where we get our look at our cameras we have our 12 megapixel one and our 12 megapixel one which one's real and which one's fake take a guess in the comments below if you want there we go now it's a little closer so it's fair for everyone you can have a guess now which one's the real one and which one's the fake one more scratches at the top of the device which says one thing the back panel is plastic, not glass. Inside the sensor area is the single LED flash, which looks like a bit of paper because it's kind of peeling off a little bit, but I'll have to look at that during the teardown. And then we have two dots, but there's nothing under there. It just looks like black plastic. Hang on, I'll have a look in person. Yeah. Now, since I don't have an actual S9 to compare it to, I can just compare it to the S10 because it's kind of close, I guess. But the S10 is a little bit thinner than this S9 Plus clone. Regarding screen sizes as well, this is the S10 here, and that's the S9 Plus. Now regarding screen sizes, I'll get back to this when I actually power on the device. That's fine. But build-wise with this device, we have front glass and this tempered glass protector, which I'll take off soon because there's a reason why I want to take it off. Around the sides of the device is just plastic, and at the back is plastic. Obviously a telltale sign, it doesn't feel premium. But with the unsuspecting eye, just having a look at it, you may think it is the real deal. Pulling the SD card tray out. With the SIM card options, we can have either two nano SIMs installed or a nano SIM and a micro SD card installed. I'm going to be going with one nano SIM and an SD card. Does it even go back in? I don't think it actually... Oh, yes, it does. Please go in. What the fuck? Does it even go in? What? It would have to. Okay, with the SIM card and SD card installed, let's go ahead and power on this thing. It looks legit. Somewhat. Kind of. Not really. A little bit. Okay, and there it is. All powered up and ready to go. But there's a problem. Wait for it. The touch barely works. If I push hard enough, it starts to work. So that means the tempered glass screen protector has to go. But after this review, I want to put it back on there. So uh, give me a moment and I'll try and get it off in one piece. Oh, there's also an always on display. 3D touch barely works. How am I actually going to get this off in one piece? Oh my god. Holy shit. I swear this tempered glass... Fuck. This tempered glass layer is fucking thick. Fuck. Yeah, I guess there's no going back now, is there? Fucking hell. What did they put... Fucking hell. I, I'm trying to pry it all corners, but it seems to literally be fused to the glass. I don't know if I'm causing more damage to it or not. Oh my god. Um, I'm going to have to just break all this off, I think. Yeah. Alright. Stuff it. I'm going to break it off. That's fine. Do it. Okay. Fuck. Okay, so here's a bit of an update. 
I've been trying to pry at it for 20 minutes now and it's not budging at all. I've got glass in my eye which I've had to just pry out. I've got glass all through my fingers and everything. Um, I have no idea what to do. I've never had a tempered glass screen protector like this ever. This is ridiculous. I'm going to try some WD-40 to hopefully loosen the adhesive a little bit. But I've used a heat gun and burned in the screen, which it still all works. It recovered, luckily. I can't use the device without getting this off. So I'm going to have to battle with it for hours until I can get it off. <laughs> That's all I can do. I tried for another 10 minutes and I couldn't get anything to work. The glass is held in place by God knows what. I've tried so hard to get this tempered glass off and I can't do it. However, I just like to put gloves on. With gloves on, it seems to work. So now I have to do this review with gloves on. Which honestly, it's probably going to work out because a lot of people ask about my fingers. So it's probably easier just hiding them with gloves anyways. But it works, so I'll just use gloves. I've literally got tiny, tiny little glass shards everywhere. As I said, I tried with a heat gun, I tried everything, and it just, I tried WD-40 even, and it just will not come off. It is just stuck completely on there. And I got WD-40 all over my PS4. So because of that, I now have to get this off so I can shake the glass off it. Actually, going back to the desk kind of makes a bit of a difference, doesn't it? I might have to go back to just using the desk. Because the exposure was just having a sook. So there we go, that looks a lot better. But yeah, you're going to see the rest of the screen now is going to be absolutely... Yeah. Sorry everyone, I tried, but this is the solution I've got to come to. So much for trying to save the screen protector. Oh well. Anyways, with a SIM card in, it says that we've got 4G, so I'm going to give it a quick call and see what happens. Oh, it's on silent, my bad. Okay, testing. Whoa, shit, it actually works. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, okay. That's fair. See, look. That's working pretty good. Okay. Fair enough. And then on my one, that's what it sounds like. That's the microphone coming through my S10. So I'd say it works. That was a smart idea, putting the phone up to my ear when it's got glass everywhere. Smart. It receives calls, so could it be 4G, or is it just 3G? It's probably going to be 3G, but we'll see what happens. Otherwise, for the user interface, looks like stock Android 8. It all seems to be... Whee! Um, we do have the edge panel. There you go. We do have an edge panel. Quick tools. Can we actually add anything to it? No, we can't. But there's a settings for it, though. Weather. Okay. Okay. I am... Literally, I don't want to. I just don't even want to now. It tries to mimic 3D touch. It vibrates ever so slightly once it recognizes it. But otherwise, it's pretty much ineffective. Uh, but you got email, camera, gallery, gallery... Gallery, 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 gallery. But otherwise, you got email. But otherwise, you got email, camera, gallery, gallery. But otherwise, we've on the, but otherwise on the home screen, we've got email, camera, gallery, galaxy apps, calendar, phone, contacts, messages, and internet. Uh, we'll open each one up soon enough. But coming into the actual apps themselves, Google has voice search and Google, Samsung. We've got email, my file, sound recorder, galaxy apps, video player, and S Health. Samsung Notes. Looks like Samsung Notes. We'll get into that later. Why is it like... What? How do I even do this? I literally cannot do this. This review sucks. So in messages, there's actually messages. So they haven't factory reset the device. That's okay, no worries. Why is S Note on here? What? S Note. Now a lot of people have picked on me because I say Note. I don't see what's wrong with that, but... Note? Samsung 
note. People have a laugh and say, he says not. Does anyone think he says not? Click YouTube subtitles right now. Note, 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 noting, note, 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 note. All right, we'll see how that goes. All right, but S note is in here for some reason. I don't know why, but it is strange. Sim Toolkit and the YouTube app is preloaded. There you go, 64 gigs of internal storage. Yeah, we'll see. Sound recorder within microphone settings. I may as well do a microphone test. Why not? Uh, Galaxy apps. Unable to check. Okay, we'll come back to that. Video player and S Health. Oh, S Health. Huh. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's put my hand on the sensor with gloves on. Sure, why not? Yep. Yep, it works. Okay. So let's start it again with nothing on there. See what it comes up with. They went so far as to program the heart sensor to detect a heartbeat and come up with a reading when you did... Sure. Sure. Alright, we'll jump into settings then. We have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Airplane Mode, SIM Card Manager, Data Usage and More Connection Settings. Do we have NFC? No, we don't. But let's see the cellular networks. 3G and 4G. Let's choose a network operator and see if it comes up with 4G. Yeah, it's 3G, but it's to be expected. Uh, phone over the horizon. Sound enhancement, we've got best loudness, of course we do. Other sounds, dial pad, touch sounds, okay. I'll turn the volume up as well, because there we go, that's better. Hopefully the sound actually works on this. Oh, it does, yeah. Notifications, it's a brower. Not a browser, it's a brower. Okay, setup wizard there. System clean, that looks legit. System clean, sure, why not? Display, we have mirror vision, which is on most media tech devices, I believe. Brightness level, smart pause, we can always try that. Always on display, we've already had a look at, but it's pretty much just a straight up clone of the actual always on display that's featured on Samsung devices. Uh, wallpaper and theme, ooh, that looks nice. Ooh. The camera doesn't like anything. This review is a complete mess. It has not gone well. I've recorded for almost two hours now, I think. I'm still not even getting to the proper details of this. Um, and I've used the wrong camera because every time it goes light, the background goes dark. And I've set it on manual, so it doesn't do that, but it still does it. <sighs> Anyways, wallpapers are pretty much stock ones off the real deal. Advanced features, hang on. Advanced Features says S Pen, but not there. Motions and Gestures, Air Browse, yep. Uh, side key for opening application or camera. Also, we can change that to not open Bixby. Ah, Edge Screen, yep. We've had a look at that. Smart Manager, oh, Clean All. Sorry, but what? Clean All. There we go. Just like on the Explore device, I think. That's exactly what happens. Apps, well, we've kind of already been to. Equipment maintenance, which is pretty much what it comes up with before. Uh, four hours left on battery, fair enough. Storage, 64 gigs. Mm -hmm. Memory, uh, total memory, four gig, free 1.6 gig. It's supposed to be six gig with the S9 Plus actually having six gigs of RAM, but uh, anyways. Cloud and accounts, accounts, system clean. Huh. Okay. I really don't want to sign into a Gmail account on this now. Uh, Firefox account, Google, Internet. We'll connect it to Wi-Fi and we'll play around with those. General management, can't do much there. System update, help. Help, yeah, be appreciated. Did that actually load? Yeah, it does, okay. Uh, in about phone, we have wireless update. The model number is SMG960F, which is actually the European Exynos variant. So that's um, a bit strange considering the back has um, G9600UD on it. Android 8, see what it comes up with. Nougat. Hmm. Oh, that's right. The cat Easter egg. I don't know how to do that. Sorry. Uh, security level, March 1, 2017. G960F. Well, hang on, this was released in 2018. So, okay. Uh, build number... Oh, develop options is already enabled by default, so that's okay. 
The serial number is 012345678 ABCDF as usual. And that's pretty much it, so I'm going to go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi, and we'll see what else we can do with this thing. And here's the default keyboard. I'm not too sure what it is, actually. Allow keyboard to make and manage phone calls. Deny. Um, I wonder what it is. My. It's a my keyboard. Already the latest version. Okay, it's a little strange, but alright, sure. Uh, Bixby, what do you do? It opens up Bixby. And, uh, well, here's Bixby. But what can we do with Bixby? Wow, there's actually information about it. Oh. Just to make sure it's not a touch issue. Nope. It's literally just a feature that doesn't have anything you can do. You can't do anything with it. Well, this version of Bixby is actually far more useful than the actual version of Bixby loaded on Samsung devices. So opening up the Samsung internet. Update Samsung internet, okay. Yeah, all right, let's go. Well, there's Google. So that's a good sign, but they've tried to make it look like the Samsung browser as best as they can. Wow. That's impressive, I guess. What about Galaxy apps? Start. Start by downloading China's must-have apps. Okay. Start. Start. Waiting. I have a feeling that this won't work. Nah, it's not going to work. Oh, okay, Galaxy Apps opens now. Well, I say that. Oh, so much for continuity, I just clean my mouse mat and it's much better now. Nope. That's not the way we do it. What are you doing? I'm going to put the window options down. It is ridiculously slow. Okay, let's see if we can do an update. Nope. Device is currently up to date. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so let's try and see if we can do a system update. Oh, come on, background. What are you doing? Try it through here. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. What a mess of a video. Seriously. It's not in the mood for it. I can't do it. Okay, so here's the real test. If we come into lock screen and security, which I completely forgot before. No, okay, so go screen lock. We can do iris unlock. All right, so according to this, I just put my eyes right here and it should recognize. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, with iris unlock enrolled, let's see what it does. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it comes up. All right. Yep. It works. Okay. Let's try fingerprint. Okay. With gloves on, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Not a problem. All right, sure. Let's just open it up. Yep. Okay. There you go. What else can we do? Can I unlock it with my elbow? Yes, I can. <laughs> Amazing. Truly revolutionary technology right there. No in accounts, it says Samsung Cloud, backup and reset, but when you go into it, it just comes up with system clean. Now that I've got Wi-Fi, what is it? System clean, so dodgy. Uh, add account, should we just go ahead and put a Gmail in? Okay, so, oh, hang on. Oh, Samsung Internet is actually doing something. Oh, okay, this is legit. 
Actually, it could be. It could actually be legit. This could be actually um, the web client of logging into your Samsung account. However, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to log onto my Samsung account on this device because my Samsung account is connected to my actual device and I don't want to do that. There you go. It comes up with that. That's, um, that's interesting. All right, so I'm going to sign into a random Gmail account. I don't really care about it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll start testing out the internet functions. And I completely forgot... There's my S10, and there's the S9 Plus clone. You can see the screen size. This is supposed to be 6.2, and that's 6.1, but as you can see, they've kind of missed the mark because the bezels are a little bit big, but that's okay. That's just a bit of a comparison there. I will do the camera test. I've already done it, actually. And when I was taking the photos, I was using the volume buttons to take the photos because when I was trying to press on the... What is it doing? What I was, when I was trying to press on the camera icon to take a picture, it wasn't working, so I was just using the volume key. So a lot of the photos are quite blurry, so sorry about that. This review is just completely cursed, that's why. If it isn't obvious, the second camera lens is obviously a... But if it, if it, isn't, if it isn't obvious enough, the second camera lens is a complete dud. We'll continue on with this very terrible review. I'm sorry that it's just went this way. Didn't expect it to be like this. Okay, well you've just seen the camera test for this device. Obviously it doesn't have any of the features that the actual S9 has, apart from the fact that it can take photos. So I guess that's a positive. Hello? Does this work? I hope it works. Hello? Does this work? I hope it works. Sound recorder works. That's good. Why is it not loading my picture? Okay. All right, we'll do the usual YouTube test. I'll just turn the volume down a little bit, but we'll try and play my Irish video on 720p. I'm in two minds at the moment. I'm not sure if I want to keep the mouse mat or if I want to go back to a desk. A lot of you guys actually said to keep the mouse mat after the last video, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And with this video being an absolute mess, I've used the desk as well as the mouse mat, so I don't know. It's really up to you guys. Daydream font size wireless display. I knew how to do it. I... I can't do this. What I'm going to do right now is just completely take a break from doing this because my head is hurting. It is almost five o'clock in the morning and as I said, this review absolutely sucks. I'm sorry that you're having to watch through it. I'm going to stop for a moment, have a break, install all the applications on here and then I'll continue on later on. And then I'll continue with this video later on.